All right, everybody, it's finally here. We are in the playoffs of Backyard Baseball Season 4. And the playoffs, I am very, very excited for because our opponents are the White Sox. And that means one thing. It means that Market is going to be getting some permanent stat boosters during the playoff games. Because Market just hates Sox more than anything else. He's highly motivated to beat the Sox. So... Hopefully, we might be able to see some Marky Dubois Deaners, or at the very least, he should be playing a lot better than he has the last eight or so games. It's going to be amazing. I'm already looking forward to that. It would have been great if we had the Sox in the World Series, but the good news is, I think it is a guarantee we will not be facing off against the Rangers and Ray Tran in the World Series, because I think we'll be facing off against them in the tournament. And hey, I'm definitely good for that. So yeah, Bombers versus White Sox in the American League, and then we're going to have to face off against the Rangers or the Hornets uh, after the playoffs and when we get to the tournament, and basically whoever wins, which it'll probably be the Rangers. I'm actually not sure how the Hornets got this far. I think they were in the wild card race and just barely scraped out a playoff victory, but you never know. So, I'm hope. well, here's the thing. Hornets will be an easier team to beat, but the Rangers are going to be a much more entertaining team to face, so... I'm kind of hoping... I'll be happy with Ivor. Ivor way, it should make for some good content. Now, because uh, because at this point we have finished the league, I don't think the league leaders ever get updated from this point on, so not much point in checking there. Let's just go to our roster and see where things are happening. Oh, wait! That's right! I forgot that in the playoffs, you actually do still play on the home and away fields. I forgot about that. Oh, so Kimmy Ekman actually will be still getting the stat boosts today. Pablo's feeling good. Kenny's great. Charlie Brown's on his A game. Pete is no issues. Angela's fine. Kimmy, yes, he got those increases again. What the heck? Reese Worthington is nearly capped in every stat today. All right. Wow. Sure. What the heck? Reese Worthington had the best breakfast in the world, apparently. Wow. Guys, we might be seeing a Reese Worthington home run today. That's that's crazy. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. And, oh, it, that's interesting. So Marky actually got a couple decreases, but his batting increased. That's fine. I will take a minus in defense for a positive in offense in Marky's case. That's fantastic. Oh, yes. <laughs> no longer is he Reese worthless 10. He actually is proving his worth. Wow. All right. I got I to gotta think about this batting order then. Obviously, Pete's going to stay here. I think we're going to move Kenny down to number two, followed by Reese, because Reese can potentially get home runs today. And we can do this. Um, Charlie Brown will be at the end. I think, yeah, yeah, I think that this is a good lineup right here. Actually, no, we're going to split Marky and Kimmy up because Kimmy's got speed and Marky does not. Oh, man, I'm so excited for this. <laughs> All So many increases today. I'm, I'm, this is great. Kimmy, Marky, and Reese are just loaded. This is fantastic. All right, let's see what their roster is like. So they got Keisha Phillips. Pretty scary. One of the best players out of the backyard kids. Going to be tough. Ramona Bennett. Oh, why did they put her as the fielder? She's garbage. But she's not the catcher. Yes! Xena Warrior Princess! has the batting decrease, so she's not nearly as scary today. That's great. Timmy Unger still is scary. Derek McCattery. Oh, so they got a couple people who aren't good at fielding. Wow, Alexis Weiss. I don't think she has a very good arm, or maybe she has a passable one. Okay, that's good. Uma Morris is fine. Oh, they got Frank Thomas. Okay, they got the pro, and then Raphael Hendricks. Okay, we got to watch out for Keisha. We got to watch out for Timmy and we got to watch out for maybe Ramona. Maybe still Xena, honestly. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ramona Bennett is an identical statistical clone of Ray Tran? Really? <laughs> that's, that's, that's interesting, because I actually like Ramona. And it's definitely not just because of the Ramona Quimby books uh, that are for children. All right, well, this is interesting. We, fought, we faced off against the White Sox twice already, and now we're going to do it two times more. So, without further ado, let's begin the match. The excitement level is high as the players prepare for their first game in this playoff series. Sunny Day here, along with Vinny the Gooch. 
Welcoming you, friends of the feather, to another edition of Baseball Madness. Today's matchup is between the Chicago White Sox and the Crazy Bombers. Now that we're in the playoffs, the competition is a little rougher, and you can bet these kids will be playing their hearts out. So, what are we waiting for? Let's play ball! Let's hear it for the best team in the BBL, the Bombers! Yeah, we are. That's actually a statement of fact. We are the best team in the BBL. But the Chicago White Sox are no joke. Yeah, like you said, Raid Pirate, most of their players are pretty scary batting-wise. But they're also not that great defensive-wise. Really, their best defensive player is the uh, Frank Thomas, who is the pro. I don't anticipate... So it might just be a high-scoring game all around, especially since most of my guys have good batting. All right. This might be our final battle at Ekman Acres, because the next game we will be playing at their home turf, which I actually, off the top of my head, can't remember what their home field is. If anybody does remember what their home field was uh, earlier in the season, then feel free to let me know. Otherwise, I guess it'll just be a surprise. Let's play ball. Hey, Derek. Putting the ick in Derek. All right, well, let's start things off with a simple left hook, shall we? I guess that wasn't really that simple. How about a slow ball kind of down the middle? This should be easy money for Derek. He tried to bunt. He's clearly not very confident in his batting abilities. All right. Nice solid hit. Nice one, Angela. Angela is surprisingly good at catching the stuff that goes really high up, but can't pick it up when it's right in front of her on the ground. <laughs> All right, it's time for Big Quiche. Keisha Phillips is pretty scary. Oh, but she popped it up. Just Is this going to be a repeat of what happened? <laughs> Dang, good job, Angela. You can get those pop-ups really easily. White Sox home field is the playground commons? Awesome. I'm so excited about that. So we don't have to deal with any bad fields again. All right, Xena Warrior Princess, despite her batting decrease, is still pretty good at batting. Okay, Charlie Brown, you got this right? Good great. No, but Kenny does. <laughs> awesome defense team. Charlie Brown just wanted Kenny to be the one to get the out. Let's see if we can bunt today. Don't say that that's a foul. Okay, Alexis has a better arm than her two at fielding would indicate, but still not that big of a deal. All right, Kenny, here we go. All right. Man, it's very easy for the players to just foul it or miss it with the bunt. I find that interesting. Not swinging. You could walk Kenny. That would be great. Oh, God, why is that? Bunting is supposed to be like, you always get a hit. It's just not a good one. Oh, I thought that was too low. That's okay, Kenny. You did good. All right, here we go. Time for Royd Worthington. All right, so Reese is basically like backyard basketball Jocinda Smith today, so we're aiming for the fences. Yeah, you really do, Reese. <laughs> you really do. Okay, not as much power as I would have liked. Darn it! At least we got good old Pablo Sanchez up, who has some invisible increases. Not sure what his invisible increase would be. It's either batting or it's uh, fielding. Almost hit. I've never hit a fireball before. Never hit a fireball before. Oh, yeah, it's possible to hit a fireball. It's just very difficult. To hit a fireball, you basically need to, like, hear the sound of the fireball, then immediately swing. Okay. Go, Pete. Darn it. That was a shame. Alright, time for Hendrix. Hendrix bunted when his only good quality is his batting. Why would you do that? Maybe because he wanted to get on base so Timmy could hit at, hit a home run? Alright, Timmy Age 3 says, let's rumble. Yikes! 
Alright, good job, Timmy. That was a good hit. I gotta give it to you. Uh oh. It's Big Head McGee. Actually, this is just big. Time for the grown man to get grown out. That didn't make sense. The joke is he's an adult and we're going to get him out. Yeah, I do think so, Frank. If I may be frank with you, you shouldn't be allowed in the Little League. He didn't even try! <laughs> That's a paddling. <sighs> he didn't even try. Ramona Quimby, age 8. Getting ready to hit a, hit a ball. Wow, nice one, Ramona. Nice zine. Get out, Ramona. Wow, remember when I said this was going to be a high-scoring game? Yeah, apparently that's not true. Alright. Darn it, Tony! Alright, Annie. Maybe you can get on first. Man, my, my team's just hitting pop-ups today. All right, Marky. Here you go. You're, you got, like, plus free and batting today, so we're going power. Come on, Marky. You got this. Not that one. Dash a ball. Don't swing at that one. <laughs> I know that one. <laughs> now, just don't throw the left hook, and Marcus should be able to hit it. Okay, well, that, that was on me, I suppose. <laughs> that really looked like it was going to be inside, though. Hee-haw! Really, Marky? That plus free batting increase, and that's what you give us? And he's out. Doggone it, Marky! <laughs> wow, this is a boring game in the playoffs. I thought this was going to be exciting. I got a bad feeling about this. Just taking turns, getting no scoring innings. <laughs> Yikes! Oh, that's right, that's Alexis Weiss. She's, she's cracked when it comes to batting. Nice one, Pablo! Who says you can't catch? That's why I put Pablo in the outfield, because he actually catches a lot more in the outfield than he does in the infield. And he's got a good arm. Doggone, dash, good. Get out! Alright, he's he's feeling catty today. That's Derek. Oh, the fireball, my favorite. Yikes! That's impressive. I didn't think Derek was even that good at batting. Oh. That's the problem when Pete's in the outfield. He can't say- Wow! It bounced all the way- Oh, really? Oh, no. Okay. Throw it to Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown. Yes! Kennedy! Get on the base, you dumb lunkhead! Recent- Recent- Charlie Brown did that perfectly, and Kenny, you don't normally screw up. That's not good. I not, and I even clicked to move on the base, and it just did nothing. Ah, that's a shame. Also, I didn't tell Kenny to move. Why did he move off base if nothing happened? Okay. I'm going to do more than turn on the heat. This is a situation where the fireball is warranted. Hadouken! Okay. Well, at least maybe Kimmy Ekman can get a home run. Kimmy, are you ready to finally get that home run that you always dreamed of and asked Santa for for Christmas? I hope so. Here we go, Kimmy. Kimmy, are you... F this is the Kimmy specialty. She fouls it, whiffs it, and if she doesn't, she just hits it straight up. She is eight at batting. This should not happen. All right, Charlie Brown. Let's save the game and get on base. Or get hit in the face. That literally just hit Charlie Brown in the face. Just walk, Charlie Brown. Just walk him. You used a fireball on Charlie Brown when there are zero strikes. Why? And there we go. That's why we didn't swing. Thanks for the walk. This means that Pete's got to not bunt, because we want to make sure that Charlie Brown gets the second if possible. So, 
We're gonna go line drive. What am I supposed to do again? Uh, we're gonna go line drive, Pete. Actually, we might as well vote for power. Or vote, vote for power. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, Keisha's got that, though. Keisha don't got that. But Charlie Brown's still not making it to second, because he's that doggone slow. Good grief. When he's a six at running. He's above average at running, but he's still that slow. Big Frank Thomas of wow. Hell. Frank Tom. Oh my gosh, they put Derek on first. That's actually a great thing for us. That's great, because that might mean he fumbles it more. Frank immediately throws a ball. There we go. Pete might as well run for it. Nice job. Nice job! And now Reese Worthington can try for another home run! Reese, all of Twitch chat's voting for you right now. Reese is a character I would be f uh, fine having next season, because Reese has actually been doing pretty doggone well in this season. Whoa! <laughs> Not a home run, but that's still an insane hit! Great job, Reese, and look at that speed! Look at that speed! Yes! Reese with the triple! That was freaking amazing, Reese! <laughs> Dude, that is what I was looking for. I mean, it would have been a phenomenal if that was a home run, but that's still absolutely amazing. Yes! Okay, uh, you know what? I, I have changed my mind on Reese. I have definitely changed my mind on Reese. Woohoo! I used to think Reese was like the worst player in the game. Nah. No way. Now things are turning around! Oh yeah, Pablo delivers. He delivers. Will Angela make it to first base? I think she will, maybe. Yeah, she will. Barely. <laughs> okay, that's that's the new hit. That little blooper sent him running. That's okay, Annie. You tried. That was a good inning. Four points. I don't think Xena is going to be that bad. Yeah. Humba diddly bumba diddly humba diddly bum. You're out. All right, Jeremy. Just be Hendrix. Nice strikeout, Angela. Unga bunga. Timmy's up next. Oh boy, the slow mo. Like one of the easiest special pitches to hit. Boom! That's why I like Kimmy at defense. She's just really bad at offense. Oh, and speaking of, oh boy, it's the dream team. Marky, Kimmy, Chuck. <laughs> we gotta go power with Marky. Even though he's only like a 7 at batting. That's still enough to go power. <laughs> Doggone it! Marky needs a new baseball. <laughs> he needs a new baseball bat. Because this one apparently has nothing but holes in it. He keeps whiffing. And when he actually gets a hit, just goes straight up. <laughs> Cat says nerd. Great. <laughs> there we go, Marky. That's an easy pop-up, though. So I'm pretty sure Timmy here is going to catch it. Doggone it, Marky! <laughs> Doggone it! <laughs> All right, Kimmy? This is take, like, 18 to try to get a home run on your own field. Come on. Kimmy, you gotta get distance and height. It's tough, but I know you can do it. Hey, Dark Rebellion 34, thank you. losers lose all the time. Which is the side you occupy. It's true, she does lose a lot. <laughs> Alright, eyes on the prize, Kimmy. Kimmy, are you serious? 
You are off the team, Kimmy. You are off the team. Oh yeah, I saw that one. I saw that one. Alright, Charlie Brown. Maybe they'll walk you again. Alright, there's the grounder for Charlie Brown. Uh, there's nobody there. Bro, okay, thanks for the free double. I appreciate it. That was a well duh moment. <laughs> that was Frank Thomas who was going, ah! <laughs> Let's hit power with Pete, why not? Darn. Well done, Frank. That was good. Rip 1.0 batting average. Pete struck out. You know what? Let's go weird. Wow, Frank, that was just the craziest thing that happened. Bye -bye, beta. Frank has... Has Bye Frank swan at all today? <laughs> has Frank swan even one time today? Alright, here we go. It's Ramona Quimby. Honestly, Ramona Quimby would be a pretty good custom character for this. I just don't know if you guys are old enough to know about Ramona Quimby. <laughs> yes, it is, because you were there to catch it, Marky. <laughs> okay, Alexis is, uh, can be scary. She has quite a bit of power behind her. I love how we used our one crazy ball just to get another crazy ball. Uh, no, not on Alexis. Nice one, Angela. All right, cool. We have another opportunity for a Reese Worthington home run. I love it. All right, Kenny. We are not hitting bunt, even though it would probably be just fine. We're going to have line drive. See if we can drive them crazy. Or hope for a walk. Actually, walk for Kenny would be great. He can steal second, and then Reese has no chance of getting a double play. There we go. Uh -oh. Alexis has too good of an arm. Alright, Reese, you hit a triple. So let's try for power again. Come on, Reese. Let's hit that home run. We all know you can. Ooh! Wow! The power! Darn, that was so good. All right, well, this might be our last at bat. My underst like my understanding was if you hit it squared, you can hit stuff in the middle pretty well. If it's if it's open, you can hit stuff that's inside pretty well. If it's closed, you can hit stuff that's outside pretty well. Which is why I keep reorienting. Really? Really? That was a dumb finish. All right, here we go. Okay, Uma's not that great, so this is the time we're gonna throw the slow mo, just to give him a chance. Good job, Angela! <laughs> Marky's still complaining in the background. Okay! Derek is the guy who got a triple, because, uh, Kenny was a dummy. Alright. Alright, Marky! Just run to the base! You gotta beat him! You gotta beat him! You got him! Alright, Marky! That's my son! <laughs> it's not my son when he's batting, but it is when he's fielding. <laughs> oh, hey! We got the two water pitches. This is great! All right, that should be game. Never mind. Angela got knocked unconscious for like five seconds and couldn't catch it. All right, Zena. Well, well. How the turntables. Yikes. That should be an easy catch for Kenny. Booyah! And they're out. And that's the first game. And the Bombers win the game! 4-0. These kids have really earned this victory. They played their hearts out and then some. They can all go home proud of their performances today. Live from Ekman Acres, this has been Sunny Day and Vinny the Gooch. See you next time! Alright, yeah, that was a really fast game. Goodness me. Considering I didn't actually start playing the actual baseball game till like 8.20, this is like a 25-minute game. 
That's crazy. 4-0, though. We beat the White Sox. I was hoping that it would be a bit more of an interesting game, but... Well, I mean, hey, Reese got a triple, which is pretty great. I wish Reese could have gotten a home run, and I wish Kimmy could have gotten a home run, but oh, what, what, what can you do? We still win, and that's great. Looks like, yeah, Rangers beat the Hornets. Real, real shock. Rockies beat the Expos, and the Diamondbacks beat the Reds. That's a bit of an upset. Interesting. Okay, cool. About the team records. Yeah, we got 15 wins. Heck yeah. Most home runs in a game, Marky Dubois. <laughs> but that's something you don't see every day. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, so that's the first game of the playoffs. If we beat the White Sox on Wednesday, then we go on to the tournament. And if we lose to the White Sox on Wednesday, we will actually be playing two backyard baseball games on Wednesday. Because this weekend is looking like I probably won't be able to stream. I can't stream Friday night, most likely, because I'm going to be meeting some friends for dinner and possibly staying at my parents' house. Uh, and on Saturday, I absolutely cannot stream because I will be busy all day. So looks like this weekend's stream will be on Sunday. So, yeah, Wednesday stream, if we beat the White Sox, great. Otherwise, if we lose to them, we will have to play two games. So it might be the full stream dedicated just to backyard baseball. <laughs> That'll be just fantastic. 